students further we will discuss about various cell organelles cell organelles are present within the cells and are distinct in their structures and functions coordination among them is very important for the normal functioning of the cell chromosomes carry another important structure called a gene genes are hereditary units of an organism it helps in the inheritance of traits from one generation to another that is from parents to offsprings you can relate it with typical words in marathi as vadilo parjit sampatti that is wealth transferred from grandparents to parents and further to their offsprings or children so have you understood the meaning of the term heredity here in biology it is in the form of genes which are transferred from one generation to another and are responsible to decide the traits of an organism example in case of human color of the eyes skin type of hair intelligence etc are decided by these genes now we will see the functions of the nucleus it acts as the control center of the cellular activities including cell division it is the storehouse of the cells dna it is involved in the transmission of the hereditary material from one generation to we will take a look at its structure the golgi apparatus is composed of flattened sac like cisternae stacked on each other it has membranes like the smooth er which lack bound ribosomes there are usually around 4 to 8 cisternae or sacs in a stack although there may be many more a complex network of tubules and vesicles is located at the edges of the cisternae the stack of cisternae has two ends or faces one is the cis or forming phase and the second is trans or maturing phase these two phases are quite different from one another the sacs on the cis or forming phase often are associated with the er and differ from the sacs on the trans or maturing phase in thickness enzyme content and degree of vesicle formation we will try to understand the process of transport of materials via golgi apparatus in more detail all of you would be using mobiles now and you are aware that mobile runs on charged battery but do you know which is the component that provides energy to the cell it is mitochondria let us know more about it mitochondria the mitochondrion is bounded by two membranes an outer mitochondrial membrane separated from an inner mitochondrial membrane by an intermembrane space in foldings of the inner membrane are called cristi these special in foldings of the inner membrane greatly increase its surface area the inner membrane encloses a dense mitochondrial matrix containing ribosomes dna and often large calcium phosphate granules mitochondria have their own circular dna rna molecules ribosomes the 70s and few other molecules that help in protein synthesis do you want to know the biochemical processes responsible for production of energy in mitochondria thus the functions of the mitochondrion are to serve as the main site of cellular respiration and generation of energy storage of energy in the form of atp molecules summary cell organelles are present within the cells and are distinct in their structures and functions coordination among them is very important for the normal functioning of the cell genes are hereditary units of an organism it helps in the inheritance of traits from one generation to another 